For World Class Drones, one video. We'll call it the Battle of Threes. We have the DJI Mini 3 Pro, the DJI Air 3, the DJI Mavic 3 Pro, and yes, the DJI Inspire 3. And in this video, we're going to go through all of the different specs for these drones. We'll talk about stability, size and weight. We'll talk about the features and the camera, and then we'll show you some test footage from each of these drones. And finally, we'll give some recommendations on which might be best for you. So let's get started. First, jumping into size and weight, and it's no secret that the Inspire 3 is the largest while the Mini 3 Pro is the smallest. But taking a look at the Mini 3 Pro, it comes in at 249 grams. The Air 3 comes in at 720 grams. The Mavic 3 Pro comes in at 958 grams, with the Cine version being 963 grams. And the Inspire 3 is 3,995 grams. And I know what you're thinking, yes, the Inspire 3 is mighty big, but let me tell you, it's still a fast setup time. In fact, I actually beat the other mat in a head-to-head -head with the Mini 3 Pro versus the Inspire 3 in a setup time race. So you can definitely check out that video at the link above. And yes, I'm still celebrating that win. Jumping into stability and wind resistant really sets apart many of these drones, aside from the Air 3 and the Mavic 3 Pro. The Mini 3 Pro has a wind speed resistance of 10.7 meters per second, while the Air 3 and Mavic 3 Pro both have a wind speed resistance of 12 meters per second. And the Inspire 3 has an in-flight wind speed resistance of 14 meters per second. So it's clear that as we go into the larger size drones, it does help with overall stability, having that extra bulk, but will it help with flight time? Let's take a look. The Mini 3 Pro has a 34 minute flight time and 47 minutes with an extended battery. The Air 3 has a 46 minute flight time, while the Mavic 3 Pro comes in at 43 minutes. And finally, the Inspire 3 has a 28 minute flight time. And while that might not seem like a heck of a ton of time, what is really nice about the Inspire 3 is the hot swappable battery feature. It has two batteries and you just swap each one out, one at a time without having to power off the drone, maximizing your time in the air, which is a really neat feature to have. Now, I know everyone's wondering about the camera specs, so let's get into that. The Mini 3 Pro has a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor capable of 4K HDR video and 48 megapixel raw photos. Air 3 has two 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensors featuring a 24 millimeter wide angle and a 70 millimeter three times medium telephoto. It's capable of producing detailed 48 megapixel photos and 4K HDR video up to 100 FPS. The Mavic 3 Pro has three cameras, a micro four thirds CMOS Hasselblad camera, a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS 3x medium telephoto camera, and a half inch CMOS 7x zoom telephoto camera. The wide angle is capable of 5.1K 50fps and DCI 4K 120fps, while the medium tele and tele camera are capable of 4K 60fps. And also with the Cine version of the Mavic 3 Pro is capable of recording an Apple ProRes which records significantly more information and has a lot more versatility in post-production. The Inspire 3 features a full-frame camera gimbal system, the X9 8K Air. It supports internal recording of up to 8K 25fps in Cinema DNG, as well as 8K 75fps Apple ProRes RAW video. The interchangeable lens system even allows you to choose the exact lens for your scene from their DL lens lineup. Jumping into the features of these drones, Air 3, Mini 3 Pro, and Mavic 3 Pro share many of the features and intelligent flight modes that we've come to love, like hyperlapse, quick shots, and much more. Mini 3 Pro has the unique ability to turn its camera for the vertical shooting function, while Air 3 has an in-camera crop, but at 2.7K in comparison to the Mini 3 Pro, which shoots 4K vertical. Inspire 3 has its own 3D dolly feature, which really puts it into the class of cinema drones. All of these drones have obstacle sensing for your safety when flying. However, the Mini 3 Pro doesn't have side sensors, whereas the rest of these drones do. Air 3 being the newest of these drones in the lineup has the benefit of OcuSync 4, which is DJI's latest and greatest video transmission system, whereas the rest of these drones have some version of OcuSync 3. What this means is these all have a slightly different range when it comes to video transmission distance. Well, I'm sure that was a ton of information and many of you are probably wondering, where does that leave me when picking a drone? And what it really comes down to is what you plan to be filming. 
If you're more of the running gun filmmaker and portability is your number one aspect, then of course the Mini 3 Pro cannot be beat in that arena. But if you want to step up from there, then you can't go wrong with an Air 3 or the Mavic 3 Pro. Of course, if you want that third camera that's a seven times zoom and a main camera that has a micro four thirds sensor, then the Mavic 3 Pro would be the best choice for you. So then you might be wondering who exactly is the Inspire 3 for? The Inspire 3 is for the professional aerial cinematographer, looking to get the absolute best footage while sacrificing a little bit of portability. Each of these drones offer an impressive value, so you can't go wrong with any of them. But I hope this video cleared up some of the differences between many of them and maybe even helps you decide which one to go with if you're considering one. If you have any questions on any of these drones, drop those in the comments down below and let us know which three was your favorite. We would love to see it. My name is Matt and thanks for watching.